G'day everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Factorio on Hobbit Gaming. Uh, today we're just um, going to be looking at some of the things I've done between um, sessions. Um, over here we, we are definitely having uh, much more uh, problems with the biters and the spitters. I've seen some large ones now, uh, they're quite uh, scary. Uh, I've made some upgrades to a couple of things. Pretty sure we did red belts together. I might have extended the red belts even further since last time. That's clearly enough for now. It's a uh, nice and full the way we like to see it uh, i'm trying to think what else i upgraded i definitely upgraded it upgraded it the furnaces oh, look, i was just there i was just there we're holding off all right that's a swarm coming in is it or is that just a new base we're gonna have to get rid of that one that's for sure i've gotten a bit better at dealing with them now uh, thanks particularly because obviously because of the mods that actually fills up your turrets as you place them down even failing that though it's not too hard to um place down a turret and put some ammo in it. Um, upgraded all the furnaces for the iron production to steel furnaces. Although now, I'm not actually getting enough iron in to use them all. I did place down a few more iron mines, including just a sort of a random one here. Uh, but even that is, doesn't seem to be enough to uh, meet the... Uh, what would it be? It's not giving enough supply to meet the demand, I guess. Copper's still, you know, well backed up. So definitely iron would probably be the next thing I want to work on. Um, they're all running quite nicely. I've upgraded defenses in various places around the base. If I actually bring up the map, let me zoom in over here. Uh, upgraded over here. I found that a second wall really does seem to slow them down enough to really give the guns a chance to, to shoot. Uh, that one's not too bad. That wall's a bit knackered. I think that's alright for now. I upgraded the coal a bit, although these guys are probably nearly out. Uh, that one actually is out, so definitely coal is becoming a problem. I did start inserting some, you can see it there, little blocks, some solid fuel into the system as well. Oops, let's get out the map for you. And uh, that seems to help as well. It doesn't seem to cause any problems. I'm not sure if any of these are using solid fuel yet. It's just sort of all moving around the system at the moment. It's getting imported. I think it's finished doing it. Uh, alt. Some coal still in that one. Let's actually put some solid fuel in here. Save myself a little bit. And I can actually also put all the coal in there. I don't actually need to be carrying around the coal. So those two are just uh, inserting it as there's space. They always insert on the opposite side to what they're on. So this one always inserts on this side of the belt. And this one inserts to that side. Uh, hopefully I haven't shot myself in the foot putting that on there. Uh, let's see what else did I want to show you guys before we get on to the main stuff. Let me find my car. Is it on the map? Good thing is you can see it on the map if it is there. Uh, we did that last time, we upgraded the stone production and we created the rail production and the idea for today is I wanted to have a look here and wanted to put in a train line that runs from here all the way down into round about here. Eventually once this, once this iron is all used up we'll actually have obviously some space there. So for now maybe, let's see, that's the solar panels, that's the science. Yeah probably something like, can I draw on this? No you can't would be handy. Well, we can put a station, I'll call that one station two actually. And one of these rail signals, train stop, confirm, and then straight down to about here, call this one station one. You can always rename these later on. Train stop. Uh, we've also got some science finished over there. Confirm. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. So the idea is we're going to produce all the stuff up here that we can with the liquids and then ship the solid product down here and put it on the bus. I imagine though that some things actually require the liquid to make, so I'm going to have to consider that as well. You can make fluid wagons. Um, also, we're going to have to remove, I think, some of these things. Hmm. I had to remove the one that was up here. We'll go up and have a look at that now, actually. Um, ah, there's my card there. Excellent. Put it down. Uh, solid fuel apparently makes it go faster. Uh, vehicle acceleration 120%. Hop in. Uh, let's do science first. Uh, what have I done? Fast inserters. Very good. Um, I'm thinking maybe advanced processing or power armor. Better power armor. Uh, is it the same thing basically? I think it is. I don't know enough about a lot of these things. This is all very much uh, new for me, many of these things, which is great. Experiencing it with you guys. So yeah, I had to take out the biter base that was up here because they were just constantly, constantly attacking and it was just uh, getting a bit crazy. So, um, back a bit. 
need to go to where the coal is. Over here. So I can actually probably pull down most of this. This kind of configuration though seems to work really well. But for now I'm actually going to remove most of these. I'll leave a couple here. And I made a little thing here, come out and I can shoot them and uh, run back in again. The uh, bodies do disappear, I was wondering about that. I actually got a screenshot I might put up now of the uh, aftermath. Aftermath, aftermath of um, what that was like. While I'm up here, let's actually grab the things going on. I've got the light fuel, light oil, light oil being turned into the uh, fuel source. These um, solid fuel blocks, so I'm gonna grab those. I'm gonna leave the sulfur there for now. I think I need to turn them into sulfuric acid. And I'm not quite sure how to do that yet. And plastic is looking good. Yep, I'm gonna grab that one in here. And finally, excess coal. Nice, we'll grab that as well. Um, so I think we'll make one more trip down to the base to drop that off. And then we're gonna get started on the, oh my God, just, just destroy it. Then we're gonna get started on the train station. All right, all dropped off, but we've got some problems going on. Is it a breach? Ooh, just about. Uh, hang on, let's actually just exit the car for a sec. Yeah, definitely. That was, uh, they're getting nastier and nastier. Okay, so we're gonna have to deal with these, I think, before we actually do the trains. So let's actually get uh, ready for that. I might use, this is my strong point, and um, we might have to take out, I think, both of these, and then both of those. So today's gonna be a bit of a, a bite or removal episode, I think. Let's make sure we've got what we need. We've got plenty of ammo, check. Gun turrets, check, get rid of that. Get my inventory ready. Uh, more gun turrets, that same thing, yes it is. Get rid of that, don't need any of those. Where's my fish? Fishy, fishy, fishy. I have not actually had, had a chance to actually use these in a combat sort of situation. Other things going on somewhere. Up there, that should be able to hold that. Uh, yeah, so pretty much a lot of this is now gonna be a lot about um, getting rid of these guys. So we're good, I think so. Let's uh, make a little hole in the wall here. See what we're dealing with. Whew, nasty. So let's uh, start by putting down a couple of gun turrets. One, two, three, four. And let's um, run over and say hello. They're big spitters, I think. Yeah, they are. Draw them into the guns. So this is gonna be my place to fall back to. And basically you just keep pushing forwards. Health's doing all right. Let's go forwards and put a couple of done. Gun turrets down and run away. Run away. And then if we can get close enough. Doing all right for health. Doing all right, doing all right, it's okay. Then I can switch over to my nanobots. They should be able to repair. And then get it repaired up and then switch over to guns and shoot some myself. Yeah, that's all right. And yep, 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 get them. Doing pretty good. Okay, those big ones really do hurt. Ooh, yeah, like that. Okay, um, switch over to that. Feed myself a fish like that, I think. Yep, all right, that actually works, good. Uh, we need more turrets closer, so plop, plop, plop. And pick them up. Well, I have learned that if you pick them up, then you are just getting a damaged version of it, which makes sense, really. Oop. We're doing alright. Yep, take out the big guy. Yep, health's doing alright. Gotta keep an eye on the health. Oh, he takes a good hit from the health, doesn't he? Okay, so switch over to nanos. Give myself a fish. Whoa. Whoop, that's my nano gun thing. Does that. Take out that. Let's put a turret up closer. Pick these ones up. Okay, we're doing alright, I think. Oh, that's my shotgun, I don't actually want, no, no, not that either. I don't actually know if they actually do any damage. Ah, uh, there's the big ones. That's the big one, that's the big one. Ooh. Jeez, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, that was close, that was close, that was too close, too close. Uh, more fish, please, more fish. I need much better armor. Take out that base, take it out, take it out, take it out. Yeah. Ooh. They are nasty. God, they're ugly too. Sorry, mate, but bleh. Probably think the same thing about me. What was that noise? My computer made a noise. Nothing important, never mind. Okay, so let's uh, repair you up first. 
Oop, hang on, like that, yep. And then we'll pick you up. Uh, let's move on to the next one. And this one's also been bothering my base as well, my main base down the bottom, so. You gotta go, guys. Time to move out. All right. I really do feel like a jerk though. I mean, you know, I'm destroying the natives here. Oop, that's all of them. Move the back line up. Up to the front line. Repair. Yep, yeah, that works quite well. And get in there and help as well. While oh, they're distracted, that's actually a good technique. Yeah. And go back to repairing. And I'm already healed up, that's fine. Okay. Not too bad. They're repaired. Let's go in and finish these off. Oop, get out of the tree. Yeah, not too bad. All right. Okay, so that technique definitely works well. And if you're doing this without the mods, you could put down the turrets and actually have like ammo on your hotbar like this, and then sort of you know click and then control click to to fill up the thing. So it wouldn't be too too bad that way. I know they get a lot lot worse than that though. So I'm still waiting for all that fun. Okay, two more to take out on that side, and then I think that would be enough for now, for what our purposes for making trains. Let's pick up these guys as well. Once they're healed, tab over to Nano Gun. Right, them getting the hang of the game a bit better in some ways. Still so much I don't know though. Right, and then also just repair the walls and leave these walls and turrets up, I think, is the idea. And that tree bothers me. Okay. Uh, I might as well just run over this side. Is that area actually holding up all right? Oh, that doesn't work. How do you? They're actually getting pretty heavily attacked, and they're not actually that well defended. I might have three things we need to take out today. All right, turrets ready. Normal gun. Actually, start off with nano gun. Zoom out a little bit. Gonna be getting close now. Just a random sort of field of them here. Click. And then the rest are up here. Ooh, that's a big one. Back up, back up, back up. And switch over to I'm on. <laughs> Panic mode. Pick you up. Set it to repair. Okay, this, this one's another pretty whoop, pretty small one. Get in there and help out. Oof. Back up, back up. Okay, let's uh, just do that. That should knack of them. All right. I've still got a few gun turrets left. Yep, I have lost a couple, I think, through carelessness. And one more up here. Ooh, daytime. Everything I got, I think, since last time I didn't mention is the power armor. Well, in the power armor. Whoops, there you click on it. There we go. Had a couple of solar panels. So I do have a little bit of night vision, but no batteries yet. Speaking of power armor, uh, so what does it actually give me? Like, is it just improved or I have to make a new one? I need to look into power armor a bit more so I can understand it. Let's see up here. Um, up more. Ooh, another hot bar thing, I think. Let's get that one. I think that adds another bar in here. Oh yeah, they're attacking there and there at the moment. Hmm, we might have to have a whole episode of cleaning things out. Wasn't what I planned, but I guess, whoa, we need that. Uh, we need that before we can put in the trains, so. Uh, yeah, so always heading towards trains. Getting there slowly. Closer. And that. That is kind of cheaty. <laughs> and that's, that's where I am now. That's okay. Calm down. We're already, we're already dealing with that. All right. Let's do a bit of a perimeter sweep. And then maybe try and get some trains set up. I already made a, a train and a what is it, locomotive and a couple of carriages. And I've got the rails making down south. So um, once we get these cleared out, we should be good to go. Oh, wrong button. Charge right click. And what I could do is actually get this out. And then do that. Oh yeah, that works very well. Bug squashing. Uh, the other one up there is now sort of being annoyed by me. 
Let's leave these ones here for a second for a fallback position. Nope, 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 nope. Thank you. I saw a rock then, I thought it was another bug as well. And then just go whoop. Grab these guys. Hey, it's coming. Gotcha. <laughs> and give me these, please. Let's see if there's anything left up here. It's working good, I just can't quite reach the hives. Ooh, that was a big one, I think. So let's repair these. Repair, repair before I pick them up. Ooh, up here, quick, 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 repair. Repair faster. There's a big one. Ooh, they're nasty. Get it, get it, quick, quick, quick. Got it. Nice. Right, and that, and that. Pick them up. And then I think that's most of the ones that are gonna cause us trouble for now. Let's just do a little loopy roundy here. Is that, uh, just, there's rocks, there's some water there. So I get my water from most of the things. That's pretty secure there, apart from maybe a little bit there. I think that's all right for now. Excellent. So, trains. I think make it down closer to the bottom part of this processing area, because most of the things get, liquid get processed here and then get turned into things here. We'll eventually probably have to expand. Um, we do have a whole lot of spare space up the top as well. Keep that in mind. And maybe we make a processing for iron and copper here. Uh, let's see, so uh, I might need to expand here next for processing of things. Let's actually make the train station sort of here. And remove a few more trees there. That would have taken ages by hand. I suppose you could use like grenades. Grenades are quite efficient at uh, removing trees as well. And let's see what we've got here. We have, looking, 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 some rail signals, a train stop, a locomotive. I didn't bring any rails with me. Cargo wagon and belts and inserters, sort of the normal kind of thing sort of for the solid materials. So we'll have to um, probably also go get some rails. I might just uh, cut here and go and finish getting the rest of the little odds and ends set up. All right, Toolbelt 2 is about to become available. And over, uh, where do I make my rail? Uh, my, yeah, over here, isn't it? Basalt, I can see my things. Uh, there we go, Toolbelt 2. Wow, even more space to lose myself and can't find things. Just what I needed. Uh, <laughs> um, ooh, flamethrower would be nice, but I need sci um, military science, which I've not even started. Ooh, nuclear power, oh crikey. We're getting so far ahead of what I can actually build at the moment, it's uh, a bit scary. Uh, search that one. Um, my rails are over here somewhere. Here they are. It's actually filled up. I did limit it in the end. I thought 3,000 would maybe be enough. Let's actually just maybe uh, do like that for now. I had to, ah, oh, sorry, had to adjust a few things. Uh, I was not producing enough steel, so I up upgraded the steel processing a little bit. Uh, I have not put in the better furnaces. I pretty much just pumped in more iron. Uh, fuel is jammed up at the moment on it, though. I thought, uh, oh, yes, the whole belt is actually full of fuel. That's actually pretty cool. That's a good problem to have. Wow. I was not expecting that to happen, so... Might need to go check down at the uh, plant down at the bottom later on. That's fine. I've got my rails. Let's go. I forgot where I parked my car as well. Was it somewhere in the middle? Up there? Yeah, up there. Uh, oh, that's right. There's problem, problems down here as well, aren't there? Yeah, I don't think this is going to last much longer. There's not enough turrets down there where they uh, need to be. How long is it going to take me to run down there? Not too long. Also, the faster way to get down there. Maybe one one train just for um, getting around the base, even like something around the perimeter. I don't know. Have to have a bit of a think about that. When I'm running through, whoops! I pushed a button. Then I don't know why I pressed then. Uh, get out of that. Must be in the grave key. Uh, but can I repair these things? Yes. I did see some big uh, spitters there as well now, so they're definitely uh, mutating and, and you know evolving. I think is the correct uh, term. Let's actually just go one, two, three. 
for no more of that nonsense, please. And oh my god, yeah, that second ball definitely they hit the wall here and then they have to kind of move around by the time they get around it. They've uh, been pretty knackered. Let me leave a little gap that some of the small ones come through at a bit of a different uh, rate. That's quite good. Right, time for some trains. I also found out I can switch up my nanobot construction pots for termite pots and it clears out a whole heap of forest, which was quite handy up, up there. I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. Actually, you know what? I might actually change it. I want to clear out the trees in this area up here. It's actually quite funny. Um, doot, 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 doot. This one, I'll change that over here. And then when I get my car, you'll see some green stuff going on and that'll be the termite bots, which destroy trees but don't return the actual wood because you're not much you actually need the wood for. Like that. Uh, so if I just drive up here, I should uh, clear out quite a bit of these trees. That's pretty cool. We'll see how much it actually worked on uh, next time we come back down. All right, yeah, stop. I need the car here. And I'm gonna switch it back over to my normal ones just so I'm not destroying absolutely all of the forests. Because I imagine that is bad. All right. Ah, and also night time starts. That's great. All right, so I've not, not done trains before, like I said, so I'm not entirely sure what I need. I've uh, made a little gap here. So if we get the train stop, let's zoom in a bit and have a look what we have here. Um, and this tells the train where to stop. Uh, if we want it to do forwards and backwards, it needs two locomotives. So I might make, I'm trying to picture this from my point of view. Oh, what does that need to attach to? Do I need some rails first? So we put some rails here. And we put a train, is that a stop? That's the lights, it's not stop going. Train stop. Okay, I did remember seeing a video about this where it actually tells you something about uh, where it expects to be, I think. So let's actually just run these up to the end here. I can always rebuild this later on, put a train stop. Hmm, carriages, right, this one that does not. So I think like, maybe like that, yep, yeah, okay. And then if I actually remove this wall, I've got an idea here. Um, I'm gonna have a train that turns around instead. So if we now grab a track, and then there's a way you gotta turn it. Do you hold down shift or, does it tell me if I, are there different types of track? Hang on, let's have a quick look. The straight rail, uh, the rail planner can build short paths, left mouse, or long ghost paths, shift. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How do we turn the rails? How do we make a rail turn? Oh, I saw something then. That's not quite what I wanted to do. Whoa, that's pretty cool though. I wanted to actually, okay, I think if I, um, oh, I didn't actually want to do that. No, 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 no. How do I, <laughs> how do I uh, stop all of this? I don't want any of that, please. Um, all right, we work this out. We work this out. So I get rid of that as well. Uh, so that's saying which way. So do that, and then oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that's good. So do we do that, and then like that? That's the rail planner. So you get the rail planner by clicking on an end piece, I guess. So uh, if we come over here. So the plan is the train comes in this way, over here, stops and picks up all the stuff and then goes back to base. That's my plan anyway. I think I can, I, yeah, all right, that works. <laughs> works. Let's put down the actual train itself. Um, going this way. Wow, yeah, boy. Okay, fuel, let's chuck in just, I don't have any coal, some solid fuel, that work? Yes, does it need water as well or not? schedule um, automatic and then I think I can go between stops and then wait might need to add some things no path yet that's fine I actually think we want manual and just say st so it doesn't go off on us all right so all oh, this is exciting I am excited uh, put the cargo in the back and links it one two three and we need some more track here going 
that's fine. I think so, yep. Um, I believe you could even put in like the these boys so that the train goes through that. Where have we been intact? Better check that out. Down here. Yeah, they're getting hammered down there. They're going to be the next area I'm going to need to explore and remove. Right, so focus, focus. One, two, three, and one more, four. And that's where it's designed to stop. So the idea would be that you would get fast inserters. My old favorites so have none left, or can I just not see them? Can I see them at all? Ah, oh, they're right there. Uh, and you can do things like this where you can... I don't know if it requires quite that many. But you could certainly fill it up pretty quick, couldn't you? Hmm, and then instead of having it here, it comes over to here. I think that's what we want to do. Let's just quickly grab some power. Uh, if I hold down left click, and then, oh, actually, you know, even better, between them. And what did I just get? More logistics slots for stuff that I don't understand. Goody, goody. One there, and one there. All right, that looks all right, I think. Uh, so if we grab out all this stuff, and just for now, I'll just get another chest. If I had any uh, wooden chests, use this as an example. Get this. Control. Wee, look at it go. And then it fills up fairly quickly. If there's a faster way, please do let me know. And then we just need to finish the track, I think. Let's get the thing up. Um, that requires the wrong one. Advanced processing. What does that give us? Electric furnace. That would actually be cool. And it unlocks purple science. How many sciences are there? So, oh, can I, is that what we do? I think, what's what's easier? Is it using the special way? So I might just also close this up. So I'm, I'm babbling a little bit. I'm a little bit excited and a little bit distracted and a little bit just trying to work this out. So is it faster to do like this? And then just, you know, run down? Or is it faster to do this and then like that. Probably that. And also this is the forest that my termites just ate. <laughs> Makes a nice sort of thing there. Um, but obviously I didn't quite do enough. I kind of stopped here. I thought I was gonna have one line, but now I'm kind of realizing I might need, is it control shift? No. Uh, let's just get rid of these. More attacks. This time over here. Oh yeah, that actually makes him stuff up a little bit. That's kind of funny. A few more maybe closer to the end here. Definitely also realized that if I did not have whatever mod is actually filling those things, that I would be completely knackered at this point because I do not, I am not managing my turrets at all. So I'm quite aware that I'm horrible at that. Do not be aware. So that's something I might actually like to work on. I mean, I'm getting close to laser turrets, but uh, if I was doing vanilla, then I'd probably have to have a belt system that fed all my turrets that'd be the way to go all right so where is this going to come this is coming into the base so it comes into the base i'm going to need a few another stop aren't i i think i made two stops and we want uh, another gates rotate like that what's interesting what's some change as i put the track down too yeah change the way it looks that's cool um how far down do we want it to go so what is green dot on the map? Oh, it's radar. Okay. Um, how far? Zoom out a bit. Mm. Do I want it here? I don't know. Let's do it here for now. It sucks that it's not time again. And we want to stop here. Train stop. So these be on this side, I think. And then. We want to come around like so and like so and then I think that should be lined up for the way back now. Fingers crossed. And then once again we need to 
Where are we? Tear that down. Put in another gate. I think I'm running out of my gates. That's enough for now. And I might just finish this up off camera and so we can get back into it. And I'll be back in a minute. All right, let's finish up here for today. I think we're just about done. I've connected the rail. You can see it on the uh, map there. If you press M, I believe there's also one which explicitly shows them. Train stops. It gives it a, a default name. Uh, we can change that later. Mm, turret coverage. That's cool. Um, a bit laggy for me. Uh, okay, let's just finish loading up all those plastic things into there. Uh, and that's plastic in there. I think that I can actually ride this. Oh, yeah. Exciting. Um, set to manual. Has fuel. Color. Ooh, big red engine. Definitely. Or actually a bit of blue. Make it bright pink. Perfect. Right. Um, schedule. Manual. So I should just be able to actually use the controls to do this. If I set it to automatic, how do I make it go? Add station. So that's the one down the bottom. Uh, inventory full, item count, circuit condition, uh, inactivity, fluid count for now. I guess we just say inactivity. So when it's inactive, it goes, wait for, and we can edit that. Oh my god, we're going. How do we edit that? Oh, so inactive for, I don't know, uh, 120 seconds, with 200 seconds, is it? Look at it go, it's beautiful. And then it should stop here. And then uh, I'm guessing it's going to wait. I've only got one station though, so I won't actually do that. So that's the one up top, uh, inactivity, and then once again for that long, and then it should after that just go. So it puts enter to get out. Oh my god, that's awesome! I love that so much. Oh my god, I'm so glad we've got trains. And then if we do this, um, and once again just into crates for now. Where's the closest power supply to me? Um, here. So let's go like this. I need power all the way up to the top, I think. Whoop, that's a bit wonky. That's fine, that's fine, doesn't matter. Let's just get, uh, 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 uh. Um, was it medium ones I was using at the top as well? Because it's got the longer reach. Medium and medium. And it's unloading it. So if I get back into the train, um, press E. No, um, do I click on it? I click on it. Does it tell me where it's counting down? I don't know if that's 200 seconds. I'm just so excited. Time to wait a station in seconds, so 200 in seconds. 60 is 120, so another three minutes, I guess. That's probably a bit too long. So if I turn that down to, I know that's not quite long enough now, but I want to see if it, um, what it counts as inactivity, like is it currently active because it's unloading stuff? Now on earth, oh, stack inserters. Ah, inserters, uh, where's my stack? Do I have? Do I have stack inserters? That's an inserter. That's an inserter. Burner. Filter. I don't think I've ever made a stack inserter actually. Do 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 do. Um, so I'm, I'm, all, I'm, all, I'm all flustered now. Let's make some of them and see if that does it better. That might make so much more sense. Uh, make them in a moment. And then I think we'll have to end up the episode after that. Uh, exciting times, folks. Exciting times. I'm so happy that we got trains. Um, Oh, wow. That's so cool. Uh, I cannot express how cool that is. It is the Hobbit train. Did I make one? I did. So if we put that there, how much quicker does that unload it? Uh, well, that one's got... Uh, da, 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 yep. 430 versus 500. Yeah, okay, that's a fair bit faster. So stack insert is definitely the way to go. Gimme. Like that. Um... I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I want to know when it finishes, if I actually just take this out manually, when it gets down to none, does it go after it's inactive for however many seconds I set? Um, let's just set it to five seconds even. One, two, three, four. <gasps> Look at it go. Oh my God. That is so cool. That is so cool. We've got massive light in the front too. Now we've got a couple of upgrades to like braking speed and stuff. So that's it. And then it stops here. Stopping. Stopping. Yes. Oh. 
and then it probably wait for five seconds or is that a separate thing uh, to it should I think oh, okay so they're different okay so each one can have a different thing that's awesome 10 seconds of inactivity and off it goes again oh my god that's so cool uh, sorry <laughs> that's just really really cool I cannot oh, I cannot even express how cool that is I'm so glad I got the trains and do I am I out of the other nanobots or do I put them somewhere weird here they are we're getting attacked over there again at the moment but I don't even care I don't even care anything else does not matter uh, that train will be coming back in a minute I can see it on the map you can see a little red line on the map uh, I'm just going to cap this off for now I'm going to be careful not to get hit by I'm not going to have my first death by train yet uh, finish that off and then I, I don't know how much pollution they create but probably a couple of gun towers here would be wise uh, like that I think you can get like artillery for trains and everything where it mass um, carries around a massive uh, thing that when, and when it stops it uh, you know fires at the bugs and stuff which is also cool uh, I'm a lot happier about the trains than I even thought that I would be and I thought I was gonna be pretty happy so you know, that's saying something that really is and one here, I don't know, just to protect everything. I'm going to wait till the train comes back, and then, as I can see it right now, and then I'm going to stop it. So I'm not just burning up with a fuel in it. And uh, I think we're going to have to call it a, a day there, everyone. Um, I'm actually going to, actually, it's Ted, even better. Let's do the outro from the train. Quick, 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 get, 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 yes. And then we will actually, um, you can do manual. I'm not going to do manual for now, because I'll, I'll probably, probably break it. But I'm going to just remove it. And remove it. Is this going to stop? It's going to wait to get to the other end. Perfect. So, uh, in the train here. Thanks everyone for coming along. <laughs> it's just going to go forever now. Um, oh, sorry, I'm just so so excited about this. So it's actually stopping. Uh, oh, because only one station is set. That works fine for me. Uh, fuel it used up not a lot. It's pretty efficient it seems. I'm just going to take the fuel out. And I think we're fine actually. So uh, thanks everyone for joining me. And uh, remember until next time, if it's not dangerous, I didn't do it. See yous. <laughs>